Right guys, exciting time, yeah, it is bank holiday, and look at this gorgeous weather. Yeah, so who actually loves to come to Cleethorpes, eh? So today I thought I'd bring you for a little walk round Cleethorpes, showing you what's actually happening in Cleethorpes. So, been reading stories that uh, Cleethorpes has actually been voted one of the worst seaside resorts in the UK. Really? Right, so what I thought I'd do today is prove it that it's not and uh, take you for a lovely walk round and uh, see what's happening. And can you believe this weather? Yeah, so it can't be that bad here because there's 3.4 million tourists come to Cleethorpes every single year. And even through the winter as well, you'll get people coming here, taking their dogs for a walk down the lovely beach. As you can see, the tide is right out at the moment. Uh, all the ships are actually coming in uh, to the Humber uh, with all the cargo on. But uh, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of people around. Yeah, so it is the Easter bank holiday, it's the Saturday, and uh, yeah, the traffic wasn't too bad getting here. Uh, I think I might even try some fish and chips again today, so I've been looking on TripAdvisor and uh, Papa's Fish and Chip Shop on the pier has been voted a number one again this year uh, for being the best fish and chip shop restaurant in uh, Cleethorpes. Yes, yeah, so if you do see me about, come and see me, grab a key ring off me. Uh, yeah, I've always got them in my pocket. So yeah, come and grab a key ring and uh, don't forget to uh, come and say hello as well if you see me about. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And also, if you like other videos like this, there's loads more to choose from. What I've been doing over Skegness, Great Yarmouth, I've even been to Benidorm and Tenerife. Yeah, so let's go for that little walk. Right then guys, so what I've done, I've started down uh, the far end, the south side of Cleethorpe. So I'm going to take you all the way into town, uh, down the promenade, showing you all the shops, what's down there, all the uh, souvenir shops, the seafront, the pier, uh, the amusements, uh, whatever else is down there. Yeah, so uh, join me for the little walk down there. Right, so Cleethorpes have even got their own little paddling pool, but it's uh, not quite ready for the summer yet, so it looks like the guys are just actually getting it all uh, ready for the uh, summer to start. So yeah, if you're in Cleethorpes and you want the kids to come for a little paddle, uh, this is the place to come. Right, so there's a few attractions in Cleethorpes you can come to. So uh, they've even got a uh, Cleethorpes uh, Coast Light Railway, uh, trains to the boating lake and the smallest pub so yeah it's uh, just through there as you can see it's, I don't know where the train is at the moment let's go and see if there's any prices yeah, so I've got a price list up here uh, tells you the train times as well uh, 5.40 for the adults 4.90 for children uh, return and they do singles as well uh, and the charge for dogs as well so yeah straight through there there's the platforms one and two Right, so what we've got down this end, we've actually got the leisure centre with a big swimming pool in it. Also, there's a little train station there. So the little, like a Wally train, uh, comes down. I think it comes out every uh, 15, 20 minutes. There's a little station down there. So you can actually catch the little uh, train that takes you all the way to the pier, showing you all the uh, seafront. So there is actually a big car park uh, near the leisure centre and it's right next to the beach as well, so you can, uh, yeah, park your car right on the seafront and pop onto the beach, onto the sand. Yeah, so there's all people on the beach. I mean, it is a lovely sunny day. Uh, hopefully it'll get a little bit warmer a little bit later, and hopefully the tide will come in as well. But God, how many people is about today? It's unbelievable. All walking down the promenade, enjoying the, uh, the weekend and the sunshine. So you can see uh, in the distance there, you've got the pier, where the uh, Popper's Fish and Chip Shop's actually on there, so we'll call in there in a bit. 
and uh, that's where all like the amusement arcades a uh, little amusement park down there as well but yeah look at these people on the beach so we're in uh, it's bank holiday uh, Easter bank holiday and everybody's out enjoying the sun so I've got another train stop here it looks like it's uh, £1.50 uh, for all classes each way yeah so this is the main promenade down here I just oh God, there's thousands of people down here today. I can't believe it, can you? Everyone just wants to get out for the day. I say the uh, the tide is right out at the moment. Hopefully, it will be in a little bit later on. So yeah, 3.5 is it 3.4 million people visit Cleethorpes every year, believe it or not. I say it's been voted one of the worst places, uh, seaside towns to visit in the UK I can't, can't believe it's actually saying that I don't know where these people actually get their figures from but, uh, I've seen worse places than this let's take this wander all the way down to the pier right, so the uh, last couple of days apparently there was a, uh, a whale uh, beached on the uh, on the sands uh, I think it looks like it's actually uh, the tide actually took it back out it might come back in later with the tide but yeah it's been on the news saying that there was a, a whale out there beached on the uh, beach Now, if you're just wondering what the uh, building work is uh, that I've got on film, it's actually a new lifeboat station. So there's a picture just across the way there, showing you what the uh, new lifeboat station uh, is going to be. So this is actually the old one here, and they're actually having a new one built. So we've got Julie's uh, ice cream parlour, uh, been here since 1997, not too long ago. Yeah, and even Cleethorpes has got their own castle, yeah, so welcome to the Rose Castle. The uh, castle was built in 18, 1883, uh, it's 85, the Manchester and Sheffield Lincolnshire Railway Company built it. Yeah, so yeah, so Cleethorpes has got their own little castle. Who lived there? We don't know. Right, so let's take you up the uh, top of this little castle. <laughs> right, so at the top of the castle you see a great views of the Humber estuary there. So it's the North Sea, it's a little bit dirty, but it's due to all the silt that, uh, that it gets picked up. And also we've got the, uh, the pier there where the proper fish and chip restaurant is. This is where the main where all the action is, uh, where the fun fair is and all the amusement arcades. So yeah, we're going to walk down there and uh, show you what's happening down there as well. Yeah, so if you come up uh, the top end of the uh, seafront, this is where the market actually starts. So yeah, you've got a few design shops at the front here. So yeah, just walk straight through there, take you straight to the market. Yeah, so every uh, seaside town has a little sand train. So yeah, Cleethorpes has got one. 
so it's uh, coming fast now. I think it's about one pound thirty. Join the uh, sand train. Takes you all the way down to the pier. So everybody's getting their fish and chips and their ice creams today. So this is Oliver's and the Johnny Donuts. As you can see down the seafront, you know, Cleethorpe has got some really nice little touches down here uh, with all these uh, different things that have got like this little fountain down here and the waterfall. It looks really good. So yeah, they do look after the place. A lot of grassed area. And it is clean and tidy. There's a few bits and bobs of uh, rubbish, but not nothing uh, major. But yeah, you can see in the background all the boats are actually coming in. So they'll all be going into Hull for all the cargo, or well, some of them are even ferries. You can see down the promenade, God, there's so many people here today. So yeah, it's unbelievable, really good. So you can see straight in front of us, getting closer to the pier, and a bit further down here as well, it's uh, where a lot more people are, where all the families are, getting the fish and chips. So this is the main part, say, where the, a lot of the families come and uh, stay on the beach. Uh, the sand's a bit wider down here. But say the sea comes right in, right close in there, look, uh, where the donkeys are. Yeah, so we're coming up to the Museum Arcades. We've got the uh, bowling alley as well over there. If you fancy doing a bit of bowling while you're in uh, Cleethorpes. Buskers around as well. Crikey, there's even people paddling under the pier there. Crikey, mate, out there, not all queuing for the uh, fish and chips. <laughs> I was actually going to go up there, but the queue is massive. So we'll go up there and have a look. Yeah, so this is the way up to the Poppers uh, Fish and Chip Restaurant. And it's on the pier. Been voted uh, one of the best on uh, TripAdvisor. So yeah, I think the queue is massive, believe it or not. I don't know if these guys are all queuing for a year table or takeaway. I'm not too sure. Yeah, just look at all the people, bank holiday, uh, it's a Saturday of the Easter bank holiday. I suppose tomorrow will be the same if it's nice and sunny. Right, so I'm going to go and try and grab a table in here. So we've got a nice reception area here. Oh crikey, there's a massive queue as well. Right, so I've uh, managed to uh, get in and uh, we just got to wait for a table now, so get that table and get some uh, food. Right then guys, so we've finally got a table in Pappas, yeah, so crikey me, what a busy place this is today. So yeah, it's the bank holiday, it's the Saturday of the Easter bank holidays, and I've finally got a table, got a table on my own outside. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely packed out in there, so yeah, we've had to wait probably about 20 minutes for a table, but yeah, all good. So I've actually ordered the uh, medium addict and chips and uh, mushy peas, so hopefully uh, they'll be here in a bit yeah and it's cost me uh, £13.88 as well so yeah really good right so these guys have already had some food so what did you think to the food I thought it was really nice yeah chips, chips are nice the chips are like you know they've like, got a rock not right, overcooked proper connoisseur yeah yeah, they're, yeah. They're soft in the middle the fish is really nice <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
didn't have skin on this fish, uh, which is, you know, it's all right for me. Some people might want skin on their fish. I think you can get the skin on if you ask for it. But uh, I was I was pretty <laughs> impressed. I had curry sauce from mine. It was nice. So. This, this guy's going to take my job here. <laughs> well done. And uh, Jasper down the far end has apparently has got a, uh, he's, he's eating chips at the moment, but apparently he's got a YouTube channel and it's uh, Jasper's World. Yeah, and the, uh, Jasper World. Jasper World. And he's into all the roller coasters. Yeah, so look for him. Jas Jasper's World. Jasper, Jasper World. World. All one yeah, word. all one word. Yeah. <laughs> right, so if you've never been to Poppins before, you have to get like a newspaper yeah, with the menu on it, telling you all about Poppins as well. So how cool is that? Yeah, so I've gone for the uh, medium haddock um, chips, eleven ninety nine, and I've gone for the mushy peas as well to try. Yeah, the uh, they start off with the small haddock and chips, eight ninety nine, medium and large. Right, so it's uh, finally came. Uh, it looks really well. Right, so let's make a start on this. So uh, chips look done. Try some of this fish. Perfect. So this is the medium addo. This is massive. It looks like a large cod nose. What the large will actually look like. But not too crispy. A little bit pale, but uh, mm, yeah, it looks alright. It tastes well. So let's go for the chips. Yeah, the chips are very nice as well. Local potatoes as well, probably. Yes, lovely, thank you. Very nice people as well. The waitresses and waiters are very good as well. So let's try these mushy peas. Perfect, perfect mushy peas. Say so they're uh, proper mushy peas, not the artificial type. Very good. Right, so just leave me to it. Let me finish it, and uh, we'll we'll mark it out to ten. So yeah, see you in a moment. Right then, guys. So uh, that's Popper's Fish and Chip Shop uh, restaurant in uh, Cleethorpes. So yeah, I had the medium uh, fish and chips with the mushy peas. Uh, so it came to uh, thirteen pounds eighty eight. Uh, they managed to get me a table outside, which was absolutely beautiful because you could see all the sea and all the beach and everything. And uh, yeah, so yeah, staff excellent, uh, great service, couldn't do enough for me. Uh, fish and chips, mm, not the best I've had for a long time. It was good. It was good. The the fish was perfect. Nice thick fish, uh, well cooked, uh, and also the batter. Could have done with a bit thicker batter. I like a nice, thick, crispy batter. Uh, chips was good as well. Uh, nice and tasty. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a... Um, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, 8 out of 10. I could have done with the crispy batter. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it anyway. So, yeah, if you're in uh, clean clubs and uh, you want some fish and chips on the pier, get yourselves to Poppers. Right there, everybody. What we're going to do now, we're going to head... Uh, down the north side of the seafront of Cleethorpes where all the amusement arcades are, uh, some more fish and chip shops donut stores, ice cream stores and the seafood stores as well yeah so, yeah, so there's quite a few uh, amusement arcades down here uh, plus you've got the train station that's actually down here so yeah if you catch the train to Cleethorpes this is where it actually drops you off right on the seafront uh, yeah straight onto the beach so yeah we've also got a little fun fair down here as well for the children uh, and there's also a big wheel as well this is all on the beach uh, the big wheel I'm sure it's been there since the early 60s so yeah write in the comments below if you can remember when this big wheel actually appeared on the uh, beach of Cleethorpes yeah so you've got a little uh, 
little slide there, snake slide and a little roller coaster as well going round and a few bouncy castles and stuff for the kids. Yeah, so right down here as well, uh, years and years ago, it was in 1926, there was actually a fun fair down here that was built, uh, actually called Wonderland, and it had a massive roller coaster on here. So yeah, this fun fair was uh, one of the biggest fun fairs on the east coast in its time believe it or not uh, but sadly it was closed in 1974 and demolished in 1980 uh, due to unsafe uh, amusement rides uh, but yeah they had a massive a big dipper I'm just gonna put some photos up of the big dipper and some of the other rides as well which, which was there uh, the Big Dipper was actually called Dip the Dips, believe it or not. Uh, they also had Dodgems, Walser, uh, Cheroplanes, um, Bowl Slides, uh, you name it. They had all the stalls as well. Uh, they had tattoo artists in there, uh, gypsies uh, uh, telling, doing the palm reading. Uh, yeah, and sh a shame it was actually uh, closed down in 1974. I can actually remember going there and the Big Dipper actually being there but not running but there was a little train so I'll put a little picture up of the little train actually going round uh, the inside of the uh, Big Dipper uh, that was I think that was the, probably the last ride that, that was actually there and then uh, sadly it was all demolished in 1980. Yeah, so that was Wonderlands in Cleethorpes, if you can remember going there when you was a kid. Uh, yeah, write it in the comments below, and if you can remember going on any of the rides, including the Big Dipper, let us know. Right, the wind's starting to pick a little bit, a little bit up now. It's getting a bit chilly now, but uh, so it's been a lovely afternoon. It's a shame the tide wasn't in though. So I like seeing the uh, the paddle boarders out. As you know, I do a little bit of paddle boarding myself, and uh, yeah, it'd have been good to see them out there on the sea. I'll have to come back uh, when the tide's in. But yeah, if you want to hire a paddle board, wetsuits, and everything, this is the place to get it from. I've had a great time in uh, Cleethorpe, so weather's been absolutely gorgeous. 3.4 million visitors a year Cleethorpe has. So don't forget, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up if you like it. And also don't forget all my other videos uh, around the country, so Scarborough, Great Yarmouth, Skegness, and I've even been to Benidorm, so yeah, if you haven't already, take a look at those too. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. See you soon.